Hi, I'm just so thrilled. So good afternoon, um, and thank you all for being here. This is an exciting day for Missouri Western State University and for Griffin Athletics. Um, and I am very pleased to introduce Andrew Carter, or Andy, as the ninth director of athletics at Missouri Western's history. Thank you. Okay. So one thing we know about Andy is that he has more than 30 years of intercollegiate athletics experience, including 25 years as athletics director. Um, and with that much experience, there's very little that he hasn't seen, right? Uh, the majority of Andy's career has been at the NCAA Division II level, so he brings an understanding of our athletics mission. At universities like Missouri Western, balancing competition, classroom, and community, the three C's of our athletics department, is something Andy clearly has had the requisite experience for. Now, engagement with our St. Joseph and regional community at every level of the university is central to my leadership as president. And I can tell you that Griffin Athletics is but one of the ways Missouri Western uses as a platform to connect our current and future students, alumni, and faculty staff with our community. As such, our student athletes, our coaches, and our administrators routinely demonstrate their commitment to being active and engaged citizens of both our campus and of St. Joseph. Now, I know that Andy's emphasis on the importance of connecting with others, uh, on character, and on leadership development will be a great fit for the Griffin community. So let me tell you just a little bit about Andy. First of all, this is somewhat of a homecoming for Andy and his wife, Rena, who joins us today as well. Um, as a native of, of Missouri, Andy grew up near Jefferson City and graduated from high school in St. Charles, which is in the St. Louis area, where he met Rena. They have been married for 36 years and have been blessed with seven children and 11 grandchildren. After high school, Andy attended East Central College in Union, Missouri, then earned his bachelor's degree from Missouri Baptist University in St. Louis and a master's of business administration from Lindenwood University in St. Charles. Andy himself was an all-conference student athlete on the baseball team at Missouri Baptist and joined their coaching staff after graduation. From there, he next took over as the program's head coach and over a nine-year career, led his team to seven, seven consecutive conference championships. He transitioned to administration as Missouri Baptist Athletic Director in 1997, then went on to lead athletic departments at Newbury College in South Carolina, Armstrong Atlantic State University in Georgia, Northwestern Oklahoma State University, and most recently at Minot State University in South Dakota. At every step of the way, he has served in leadership roles at the campus, community, conference, and national levels. Andy has also demonstrated good stewardship of university resources, increasing athletic department revenue in order to pay for program and facility improvements. Andy's career has well prepared him to build on the sound, solid foundation that Griffin Athletics has established and takes us to even greater heights in our three C's. Won't you please join me in welcoming Andy Carter to the Griffin family. When I first started out, we used notes out of our pocket, and now we use cell phones. So uh, just want to take an opportunity to thank a few people, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to forget uh, some. But first of all, President Kennedy, uh, Chris Dunn, who's been awesome, uh, chair of the search committee and helping me get settled here uh, just in the last few days. All of the search committee members um, and every person and every student that I met with on my visit only confirmed what I felt was feeling already. It was this is where we needed to be. Um, you know, my wife and I have uh, prayed over this for several months and just felt like uh, that this connection was was something that was going to be really special. Um, you know, what what I'm going to bring as an athletic director is I love people, 
And, and so it's gonna be relationship based. Everything we do is gonna be about building great relationships, whether that's in the department, with our student athletes, with our colleagues across the campus, with the community, and, and building those strong relationships so that we can all grow together. We're gonna to focus on a culture that is inclusive, that allows people to want to be part of what we're doing, that the, that the inside is so good that people won't wanna leave, but the people on the outside will be waiting in line to try to get in. And that's, that's a key for, uh, for the leadership that I'll bring. And we're gonna start working on some processes, some things that we think that I have seen over the years that help us ensure success as we all grow together. Uh, couldn't be more happy to be in St. Joseph uh, to be in the state, we have family. My mom is in Wentzville, uh, Rena's mom's in Fulton. We have a son that lives in Overland Park. And so we just feel like that we're home and, and I'm thankful for that. So at that time, I'll just open it up for any questions that anybody might have. That's the first day of school. <laughs> Yeah, quickly in that process, I wasn't. I realized I w it wasn't a good fit for what I wanted, and uh, and so we just really put our focus on this search. Um, having had a lot of experience in this state and understanding the MIAA and the in the region, um, this was just a better fit than Northern State, and so uh, we just quickly shifted our gears and focused on this. And you know, there was no given when I decided to, to not pursue that any longer. There was no given that this would be an opportunity, but we just felt strongly that there would be a strong connection here for us. And so, yeah, those are, those are uh, in those times of uncertainty, you know, you still have to make decisions and that you feel from your gut and through your prayer and, and, and the input from my spouse. And so uh, it was actually quite easy to just shift our focus here that this is where we wanted to be. Oh my goodness, um, just incredible changes. And you know, I think the university here has grown and obviously I've grown quite a bit. Uh, that was an interesting uh, process as well. We were living in South Carolina at the time and, and we came in for an interview and I interviewed with one president but I was gonna work for another president. And in the end, that's, what, that's why that didn't work out for me. Um, relationships are everything. And if I didn't know who I was going to work for, I just didn't feel like I could pull the trigger on that. Yeah, so the thing about relationship building is it's skin on skin, face to face. You can't do it on a text or an email. You can't do it on the phone. Or, or on a Zoom or something like that. So you really have to take the time. And you know, people often have asked me, why, why do you focus so much on that? Well, it's because it works. This is a people business. And if you don't know the people that you're working with or that you're leading or that you're trying to help them achieve something, then, then your efforts are gonna be in vain. So it is uh, time intensive, but, and that, that's what we're gonna put our time in because it's so valuable to the end result. It's vital. Um, I actually talked to Teresa. Oh, Teresa, we've been going back and forth on emails, and we have several vacancies that we have to, you know, get on. And so I'm getting caught up to speed really fast on that, and we'll we'll get we'll get that where it needs to be quickly. But with following all of our due diligence to make sure we get the right people. Once again, the the, the people we bring in to the inside are so important to what the result is going to look like. Uh, so we'll, we'll do it right, we'll take our time, and, and we'll get the right people to be part of our team. Yes, uh, when, 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 you th when you think about, the way, at least the way I think about looking at a job opportunity is you kind of have these imaginary boxes, right? Does it check that box? Does it check this box? And, and this one checked every box, I mean, big time. Um, it, it, it allows us to do what we love to do, 
um, and help people achieve their goals, our students, our, our staff, and, 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 and our coaches, um, in a place that we can do that with family. And, and that just checked a lot of box, all the boxes for us. And so um, not every place I've moved um, ha has done that in my career. So I think there, there's been a, a longing for this for the last few years. Like, how can we do this in a place that's a little easier? Um, uh, Minot, North Dakota is about 60 miles from the border of Saskatchewan. And you can fly from anywhere from there. You just can't drive uh, quickly anywhere. And so it, this just gives us a better opportunity to, to rekindle a lot of those family relationships that are so important to us. Oh yeah, it's changing fast. It, it has been uh, for the last 18 months or so. Um, you know, the thing that excited me professionally about this job is the desire of the leadership that this is a premier destination for Division II, that Missouri Western State University is that university. And so that's what, we're, that's what the future holds for us. That's who we're going to be. And we have to grow into that, and that takes time. We, we can't change things overnight, uh, but we're going to begin that process right away, and we're going to grow this into something that everybody can be really, really excited about. Finding a house. No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> for the department. You got me there. Um, you know, I just think getting some stability. Teresa's done a fantastic job in keeping things together. Um, but this day has been looming for some time to have the new athletic director, and now we do. And so uh, to, to start connecting all of the uh, relationships and getting everybody going in the same direction, you know, it's not enough, you know, whatever uh, analogy you want to use, it's not enough that everybody's on the same boat, but that they're all pointing in the right direction, rowing with the same uh, energy, and that they understand where we're going and what we're, what we're trying to accomplish. And so I think just galvanizing that process of uh, who we are and, and where we're going is, is paramount to get off the ground quickly. Oh my goodness, fantastic, fantastic. Anytime we can get people in our community and get those people on our campus to see what's special going on here in our family is a win, win, win. And, and it, you, can't, you can't buy exposure like that, you know, but, but those things are gonna be huge. And that's not the last thing we're gonna do, but those two things are huge uh, for St. Joseph and for our, our uh, Missouri Western community. Yeah, so I, I think my job is to connect with everybody and understand what it is that they want out of this experience. Uh, what are they trying to accomplish? How does that fit in with the mission of the department, with the mission of the university, and connect all those things through? We'll quickly go through some, uh, some planning, some analysis of, okay, each unit in the department, this is who we are today, and then what is our aspiration, and then kind of develop a plan on how we get to the aspirational place. And, and that, that process allows us all to get on the same page with where we're going, but it also allows me to spend a lot of time with each of those heads of units, whether that's a head coach or a uh, head of, uh, of a staff unit, um, and spend time in building those relationships and trying to find out what are they thinking, you know, and, and that, that there's a trust relationship between us so that they'll just tell me everything that, that I need to know, you know.